Hello everybody, hope you're okay. Now, I wanted to make a, a quick video. Now, before we get in, I just want you guys to understand a bit about me. I am not a environmentalist. I believe the mess we have made, we are stuck in now. You might think that's a very negative view, but I, I struggle to see an outcome. I, I mean, just look over the last three years. The world has just been getting worse and worse. We have wars, we have half the world on fire. We have other countries with different beliefs becoming far more prominent in terms of what they accept and what they don't from women to people who want to suck pee pee instead of the vv there's lots of different things and my opinion on all of it is you just do you you're right you do you, do you as long as you don't affect me but one thing that is affecting us all and is something that I, i'm struggling to understand uh how it's where it's going to go what the future holds i'm 20 i have never seen never seen weather like we have seen these past three four years i think whatever we have done whatever we have dug up from this world including oil and whether we've woken a beast that was lying below and it's the fire god i don't know what's occurring right now but i tell you one thing we are incredibly fucked na, 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 na. We're completely fucked, completely fucked. Hawaii is the latest to be completely destroyed by wildfires. Looking at some of the pictures, the videos, granted I'm not there, I don't know what's going on. It looks like half the world's on fire. It looks like it has all been completely laid flat. There is nothing left. Now before Hawaii, half of Europe was on fire. I mean Western Europe, so everywhere, you know, Croatia, Austria, Czech Republic, um, there was Portugal. In the past few weeks and months, so recently Croatia, Austria, Czech Republic, Portugal, Greece, these places have been aflame, they've been completely destroyed by fire. Now whether that was someone putting out a cigarette and they didn't do a very good job or due to the heat things just start, who, who knows, I'm sure they'll find out. To incredible flooding throughout Central Europe. So I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't know this was happening. So the past two few weeks and recent months, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Georgia, they've been hit by torrential rain. Now Slovenia was battered for more than 500 million worth of damage in just 24 hours. Now I'm not sure what that tells you, but it tells me we're getting worse look at that i mean the whole place is flooded these houses like are just gone they're destroyed wildfires have caused mass evacuations unprecedented flooding temperatures have reached 43 degrees in spain now you've got to remember i think it was last year australia completely set alight 500 million creatures and animals were killed half a billion animals were killed let me just repeat that you know fuck the humans we did this now we're causing the animals to get killed that's disgusting you might call me crazy but the humans should be the ones who are getting punished for this not them and I'm sure they are in some places, but that's outrageous. I mean, just look at this scorched lands. And we're just going to have a quick look at the aftermath. I mean, just look at that. Cars singed. It's something out fallout. It looks like you you know you've just reached the Commonwealth and you're like, what the fuck's gone on here? Is a nuclear bomb blown this place up? I mean, just look at it. For miles and miles, shops, homes burnt. How do you recover from this? If you're a human being and your shop, your house has been completely set alight, how do you recover? I think the answer is. You fucking don't. Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, needs to get off his bum cheeks. Well, be careful, he might collapse, but get off his arse and send some money here. So I found this map online. Uh, you can go to it. It's called ESRI, UK and Ireland Disaster Response Programme. Look at that. That is the United States and Canada. I forgot to mention, Canada's been on fire for a while as well. These ones are the big 300,000 acres on fire. On fire! 300,000 acres. Can you even think what that looks like, 300,000 acres? I'm not sure I can put into to comprehension what five acres looks like god alive so that's that's us look at europe africa look at that what the fuck is going on mate according to the news europe's been absolutely thrusted with fire that they can't deal with and look how, how do you get rid of a massive fire or oh, you get the fireman to pour water on it all right buddy cheers it's not really working is it it's not particularly going well what 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 can you do i i'll be honest i'm not trying to be mr negative nancy in the corner here and telling you oh we sent the warnings but fucking hell, it's just been getting worse and worse. What what can we do? Oh, we'll swap to electric cars. Bruh. That is so late, it's not even going to help. You know, I have no evidence for this. Long common rumour is that the actual way of getting the materials out for a Tesla car, so getting the engine, whatever else you require, is actually worse for the environment. Oh, everything we do is just not any better. I mean, just look at this map, though. Everywhere is a set of flame. I mean, Australia's in its winter, so it's actually doing well. It's still on fucking fire. I mean, 
what do we do? You've got to ask yourself the question. Another article. North America count heavy wildfire loss. Italy, at least eight people died, which is probably on the lower side. Uh, when I last checked Hawaii, there was over 50 people had died in the space of 24 hours. I can only imagine there's far more. Around 19,000 people have been evacuated from villages and several hotels. Imagine going on holiday, you can't wait, you've worked your year really hard, worked your job, 9 to 5, whatever, even longer for some, two jobs to take your kids, your family, across to seas, to Greece, get on the piss up, get on the booze up, get in the swimming pool, have a fun time, come back looking like a lobster and instead you've got to flee your home because global warming, who do you blame? You can't blame anyone, that's ridiculous, but you know, people say, oh China are fucking us up, bruh, China are doing a lot of things but they are just doing things later than we did, we did this hundreds of years ago ago and we've decided to pump all this shit into the atmosphere and now it's caught it's like well if you're gonna fucking take the piss mate we're gonna take the piss back let's, let's not take the piss here They've just absolutely set everything aflame. They have now started flash flooding. Now, I live in the UK, and we were in such a weird country in terms of weather. I, I can't explain to you. When Europe was on fire, we were getting rained on, like, pissing it down. Now, what, what what's going to happen in the long term? Death? Are we going to have to change the way we live? What can you do? If half the world sets on fire, there's not really anything you can do. In the country's history... Now Turkey and Syria are on fire. 110 he hectares of forest near the Turkish resort. How many people went on holiday to Turkey? They want to get their fake Gucci bags and they, uh, instead they can't. How heartbreaking for them. How damning this is. North Africa on fire. What a surprise. Do you notice a certain pattern here? I'm starting to get a bit bored of hearing my own voice because I'm saying the same goddamn shite. The world is fucked and it's the ju warmest July on record. I was never very much into graphs. I wasn't the biggest brain in the class, unsurprisingly. But look, we're going we're gonna, to uh, break down this graph here that we're looking at right in front of us. Now, you tell me what's going on. I think it's pretty fucking clear what's going on. I think you could draw a line. I remember drawing a line from like the top to the bottom. It's called a graph gradual increase. The global temperature is rising and it's the hottest July ever by quite a jump as well if you look at that. Practically from 16.5 to 17 in the space of two years. So if we keep this up in another 10 years time it's going to be you know close enough to five degrees hotter. And let's be honest no one gives a shit. Obviously it's sad the world's on fire but what am I supposed to? Am I supposed to sit here and cry and feel horrible? Oh I'm so sad the world's on fire. What the fuck? I didn't do this. I'm 20. Yeah I'll fucking drive a car but it's not electric but it's doesn't do a lot of emissions. What else do I do? Fuck off. I mainly walk as well. What is the solution? Please, someone with a brain, let me know down below because there is no solution. The only solution is to accept this is how it's going to be. But how long can you burn a country for? How long can things stay aflame? Like, look at this guy y using a bucket. I love the enthusiasm, the effort. You're going to be there all your life trying to put the fire out doing that. What happens when people get stuck? This poor kid's house completely gone. I mean, blistering flames. That's a cool shot. Man in a fire costume in Greece by the look of it. People coming to get rescued. I mean, imagine treaching in the sun. Sleeping on floors like this. Sleeping in paddling things. Fuck knows why you'd bring one of them, but it works. I mean, just look at the aftermath. In terms of what's going on, we're fucked. The, the end of the world is going to happen. I'm not even, you know, smoking crack today anyway. But I'm not, alright? This is every year that gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Not getting any better. It will get to the point where there is no land left where every things on fire or flooded or half the populations just killed themselves like fuck this i've had enough you know it's not going to end well how many wildfires can you do and and there isn't there is no solution anyone who thinks we can recover from this is either deluded or an optimist an optimist are never right okay <laughs> Spoiler alert, they aren't. We are in deep. We are up shit creek, ladies and gentlemen. And, what, you know, what am I supposed to do? Sit here and cry about it? No, mate. I'm going to get on with my life now. And when my time comes, it will come. But what about all these other countries? Uh, like, America's a very hot place. It's only going to get worse. Australia. I can't wait to see what happens to that place in the next six months when they reach their summer. 40 degree heats. Strong winds. It's going to be outrageous in a year's time. I want you all to bookmark this video in 10 years' time and let's see if it's got any better because I 
know it won't have. But I really appreciate you watching this misery and this horrible video. But I just, I, I just see so much of it, and I just wanted to get my point across, saying we're fucked. There is nothing we can do. People try to come up with all these solutions. I mean, the government's just allowed more fracking, which whatever, mate. If it makes my electricity uh, cheaper, globally temping bowling with my mates. But no, we need to sort this out quick. Whoever's a scientist, if you're a clever close, got a big brain, draw a solution, come up with an equation. You know what I mean? We've created an atomic bomb for fuck's sake. I'm sure someone can sort this out.